Hey everyone, it's Rachel Mazza here. I want to talk about a mistake that I see a lot of marketers making that could be costing you a lot of money. I've lived all over the world and right now I'm based in, in sunny Lisbon, Portugal, but originally I'm from the USA. And one of the biggest differences that I see living here in Portugal or living abroad anywhere and living in the States is that in the States, a lot of servers or people in hospitality industry or, ser or service industries they rely primarily on tips to pay their bills. So the, the bulk of their salary is based on tips. And so there's a big incentive to go above and beyond with your service. And here in Portugal, the service is great, but there's one thing that I've seen uh, waiters and waitresses in restaurants do that drives me absolutely crazy. And I was just reminded of this while out to lunch with a friend. You sit down, the service is fantastic, the food is great, and then for some reason, when it comes time to pay the bill, everyone disappears, just gone. And it's like, seriously? They're making it really hard for you to give them your money. It's like, seems like that would be the most obvious part of doing business is just make it easy for the customer to pay. And I see this all the time on websites. So if you're selling a product or a service online, and you've, you've spent a lot of time building out the website and the funnel, what's obvious to you that it may be really quick and easy to, to order this product from your, your landing page, your website, you may be making that assumption and it's not actually easy for the reader or the person landing on your website. And so in the same way that as a, as a restaurant, you wanna make it easy for people to pay the bill, it's the same way on your website. You wanna make it really easy for people to give you their money. Because you spend all this time getting them there, driving traffic, using your copywriting skills to get them in the right, in the right mindset and, and persuade them that the solution that you're offering to their problems is the best one out there. So of course, the easiest and fastest way to do this is just put a big old button. And so the big CTA, call to action button, and make sure it stands out from the rest of your page, but also you want to make sure that the process of ordering is clearly explained and this is a copywriting technique when it when you come to the part of your sales message where you're explaining the ordering details you want to make sure to explain in detail what the steps are and go over overboard make it really really simple and clear so click this button and then what and then you fill in your credit card information and then what and then we're going to send you a confirmation email and then what? And then you click the button, and then what? And then we'll mail it to your house. And so just make sure you answer that question, and then what, throughout the ordering process, but also don't forget that that first step, the way that they figure out how to buy from you, is the most clear cut and spend some time there as well. And if you've got any more questions about CRO, and we like to break down copywriting jargon here, so CRO just stands for Conversion Rate Optimization, and that's getting more of your website visitors and traffic to to opt in or buy from you. Uh, but you can check out the blog and I've got some more ideas on there about how to make it really easy for your customers to buy from you. Hope this helps.